Over the past few days, I have been engaging with Bharat Empire netizens, fiercely mocking Paki Sharma's absurd claims, such as India defeating Pakistan through AI military technology. However, I overlooked more significant and meaningful information. The most important event was on May 14 at 12.12 p.m., when China successfully launched the world's first space computing satellite constellation from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center using a Long March 2D rocket. The launch sent 12 satellites into their designated orbits, marking a major step forward for China in the field of space computing. These 12 satellites are equipped with onboard intelligent computing systems and inter-satellite communication systems, enabling full-orbit satellite connectivity. They boast a computing capacity of 5 petaflops, equivalent to 5 quadrillion operations per second, and a storage capacity of 30 terabytes. The satellites utilize an intelligent networked satellite platform independently developed by ADA Space. Fitted with AI payloads and onboard intelligent computers developed by Zhujiang Laboratory. These enable in orbit computing capabilities, aimed at building an integrated space ground network. This constellation, dubbed a space supercomputer, rivals the most powerful ground based supercomputers and represents a technological breakthrough in deploying computing power to space and networking in orbit. It is the world's first space computing satellite constellation, ushering in a new era of space computing and laying the foundation for China's integration of artificial intelligence and aerospace. The project holds strategic significance for computing autonomy, using domestically developed chips to avoid potentially risky foreign technologies, thereby enhancing technological independence. Compared to scenarios where ground-based computing is limited, the Space Computing Constellation offers efficient support for data processing, remote sensing, communications, and other fields, with vast application prospects. Indeed, unlike India, which boasts of launching 104 satellites in one go, sending vast amounts of space debris into orbit, China has created humanity's first space AI computing center. In the future, Space data will not need to be transmitted back to Earth. It can be processed locally by space computing satellites, significantly reducing latency and increasing data throughput performance. This will provide stronger technical support for China's lunar landing plans, Mars exploration, and other missions. Since the communication environment in space is far superior to that on Earth, it is easier to implement anti-jamming measures significantly enhancing data security. Compared to the Bharat Empire's hollow AI claims, China has mastered the entire ecosystem, from chip design and manufacturing to packaging and testing, independent operating systems, AI large-scale models, AI applications, optical interconnect communications, and space AI computing. While China may lag behind the US in certain areas, its overall strategy and development potential clearly surpass those of the U.S. Benefiting from a robust hardware ecosystem, China leads in electric vehicles, drones, robots, robotic dogs, and other industries that will determine the future of technology. At the same time, China is rapidly closing the gap in high-end chips and AI large-scale models, where the U.S. currently leads. The integrated advantage of software and hardware has put significant pressure on the U.S. The biggest problem with the U.S. AI industry is its lack of practical application scenarios. Relying solely on artificial general intelligence cannot sustain the massive investments in AI or accumulate valuable domain-specific data, slowing the evolution of large-scale models. In the field of space technology, China has its own space station and has retrieved lunar soil samples. It is also rapidly advancing its crewed lunar landing program, aiming for completion by 2030. The International Space Station, led by the U.S., is nearing the end of its service life, and there is no clear plan for a replacement. The U.S. plan to return to the moon has been repeatedly delayed and now seems far from realization. NASA's latest claim is a crewed lunar landing by 2028, 
which appears increasingly like an empty promise. The few bright spots are SpaceX's Starlink and Starship programs, but these seem overhyped. In contrast, China's rapidly advancing space program highlights the U.S.'s relative weakness. Take Starlink as an example. It currently provides only internet services and lacks computing capabilities. Due to SpaceX's limited expertise in ground communication technology, its products lag far behind China's widely adopted 5G technology and the emerging 5.5G technology in terms of bandwidth and efficiency. Meanwhile, China's Qianfan Constellation plan is directly competing with Starlink in low Earth orbit. By launching space AI computing satellites to form a computing cluster, China has announced its leadership in product innovation, surpassing SpaceX. SpaceX's other flagship product, Starship, despite much hype, continues to face core technical challenges. Its reliability is poor, with multiple explosions. This not only affects SpaceX's future, but also NASA's lunar landing and other space exploration plans. If these issues are not resolved soon, the U.S. risks falling far behind China in the space technology race. As a Chinese person, I am full of confidence in China's space program. To be honest, I have pointed out in several videos that the severe decline in the U.S. industrial base will directly impact its military strength and space technology. Over the next decade, this impact will become increasingly evident. China can maintain a talent advantage for about 20 years. What China achieves in these 20 years will directly determine the outcome of the China-US rivalry. Will China reclaim its historical glory and become the world's leading power? Or will the US continue to shine under the Statue of Liberty and dominate the world? I also hope both countries can avoid the path of high-intensity confrontation driven by ideology and geopolitics as seen in the U.S.-Soviet rivalry. Instead, they could engage in a fair and transparent technological competition to determine global leadership. This would benefit not only China and the U.S., but the entire world. Of course, there is a prerequisite. The competition between China and the U.S. must not undermine the Bharat Empire's AI dominance or its status as a space technology superpower. Both countries must show sufficient respect for India and never overlook its outstanding contributions to human technological progress. After all, according to Indian scriptures like the Mahabharata, Bharat invented AI and space technology in ancient times. Humanity's achievements today are inseparable from the Bharat Empire's remarkable contributions. Let us all shout together. Jai Hind!